Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, I can't help but notice you're still alive. Uh, barely. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, today on our show, are you wasting time? If you organized your thoughts and actions a little more, do you think you could get more done? Should be able to. I don't think so. If you prioritize today on the show, time management hacks. Successful people use every single day, and it's coming at your face next. No matter your industry, passion, or what your trade is, your success will largely be determined by how well you stay on top of your to-do list. Time management has always been an ingredient for success in life and at work, Ron, but today's mobile world puts an even bigger premium on the skill. Luckily, you can stay organized by learning hacks from some of the world's most successful people. I want to get right into this, Ronnie, yeah, okay? Obviously, none of these hacks are ours. <laughs> well, <laughs> I try to incorporate some of these. <laughs> Number one. Okay. Eliminate wasted time. All right. Uh, in the book, The Ultimate Guide to Time Management, life and business strategist and best selling author T- Tony Robbins. Oh, boy. We all know Tony. Mm-hmm. Uh, tells readers to treat their time carefully, just like their finances. Robbins believes that managing time adequately is critical because it is a finite resource that must be conserved. Yeah. That's true. You can't buy it. No. Uh, He suggests converting uh, wasted time into productive time by repurposing time management dead zones. For example, uh, if you value reading but don't have the time, listen to audiobooks during your daily commute. Do you ever do that? I have done that before. I've never tried. I I did that with uh, Tom Sawyer one time. Um. Uh, read them on your daily commute or on the train trip to work. If you have a million podcasts you'd like to explore, listen while you exercise. I've yeah. done that also. Uh, I love to do that when I go for a walk with the dog. Yeah. You know, uh, but I don't listen to podcasts per se. I like music better. So, all right, there, there's one. How about this one? Focus on your top five. Oh. Successful people tend to have a handle on isolating the tasks required to be successful. Five tasks specifically is a common cited number. According to an article published by Business Insider, Berkshire Hathaway investment guru Warren Buffett was and his brother Jimmy was asked by his pilot Mike Flint, who I know also, for advice on career success. Buffett told the pilot to make a list of 25 goals that come to his mind when he thinks of success in his career and life. Then he told him to circle the top five and avoid the other 20 until he mastered his top five. Wow. Ronnie, I think we could use this with our show too. Yeah. Some of these things are really good. They do kind of translate over to a lot of different things. Yeah, maybe things. it could make our show better. Yeah. Well, that's doubtful. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. That's It's about as good as it gets. All right, you can't get much better. <laughs> Look around you. <laughs> Kind of along those same lines uh-huh. is identify your daily knockouts. Uh, okay. So this is from uh, Marcus Lemonis. He's a self-made million, millionaire and star of CNBC's The Profit. He takes on five tasks at a time, but those tasks, tasks aren't a year away or on the horizon. He relies on a daily knockout list okay. that outlines the five tasks he absolutely must complete each day. Uh, He writes the list in the morning, not the night before, and commits to tackling those five items in the next 24 hours, no matter what. You know, that's the thing. You you have to commit to it. Yep. And you know what? Um, I have just started recently using an app that comes on your iPhone. It's called Reminders. Okay. And I put Reminders on there and there are, like, I try to accomplish one of my reminders every single day. I have about a dozen things that I want to do. And every day something new comes up, goes on the bottom of the list. Mm-hmm. And then, but man, I have to complete at the very minimum one of those items every day. You know, I, I, I just can't, I could not agree more. Um, and you know what I'm using on my phone now is notes. 
Oh, notes is good also. Yeah, yeah that's really helpful to me. Um, and and I'm I'm working on trying to make it part of a system because I'm not having a problem writing them down. Right. I'm having the problem going back and looking at them. Right. Making time for that. And, and you know this next one, schedule dead space. Your calendar should be filled with plenty of blank space, according to two of the richest people in the world. In a Bloomberg video interview, Charlie Rose, Bill Gates, and Warren Buffett shared their secrets of success in time management. Gates, who admitted to being overbooked, said he now believes that it's crucial to schedule dead space into your daily planner. By controlling your time management skills, like checking back on your notes, and resisting the urge to pack every open slot with a task, you'll have the flexibility to adapt throughout the day and week as things come up and circumstances evolve. More importantly, uh, you'll be able to use those gaps to spend a little time each day focusing on your passions, which tend to get pushed to the side for people with very packed schedules. I can buy anything I want, basically, but I can't buy more time. Quoted by Warren Buffett. Yeah. Can't buy time. No. He's a, he's a pretty smart guy, seems like. He's done okay. Uh, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement with he's, him. He's got a couple bucks. I, I don't know. <laughs> this next one, and this is something that we kind of... I, I make this mistake a little bit. Take vacations. Uh, you gotta you got to pay yourself. Yeah. Requesting time off might seem counterintuitive to go-getters who are shooting for the stars, but... Significant scientific, scientific research, as well as the insistence of some of the world's most successful people, suggests that periodic vacations make people more productive. A uh, study last year by Time Off revealed that more than half of all American workers leave some vacation days on the books every year. Not me. Yeah. Uh, the study showed also that states where employees vacation the most have lower work stress. Yeah. Uh, increased productivity and better overall economic output. Mm -hmm. Many of the world's greatest success stories validate the study's findings and insist that vacations, time spent physically and mentally unplugged from work, bring focus, better time management, and more productivity. According to CSNBC, Oprah Winfrey, who? Never, not sure CNBC, I've heard of her. I never heard of that. Not, yeah. <laughs> and Richard Branson, uh... And former C uh, EB, <laughs> eBay CEO John Donahue, they all consider vacations to be time management hack. Well, sure, they can afford them though. <laughs> exactly. You know. Yeah. Yep. I uh, I haven't been back to Hawaii in 28 years. Holy cow! Oh, I love. I've been meaning so to, but just you know, kids and work and jobs and editing. <laughs> I love me some Hawaii. All right, uh, take scheduled breaks. And I think this is really important. Oh, you know what? Let's go back real quick to what you were saying. Um, taking vacations, I think what you got to do is get away from work for four or five days uh, every couple of months just to put those stress-related things behind you yep. and, and find a real good balance. A lot of people say, well, I'm going to take two weeks at a time. Do you really need to do that? Why wouldn't you want to take like three or four here and four or five here and then maybe seven here, or, you know, and space yeah. it out over the course of the year? That's that's kind of what I like to do. Uh, three or four days off is usually good enough for most people. You know what? Say. And if you're like uh, vacationing close, like for us, we love to go to San Diego. Mm -hmm. San Diego can be, uh, you know, you leave on a Friday, then you've got, and it only takes an hour to get there uh, by a flight. Mm -hmm. Uh, but your arms are tired. <laughs> there is that. But it's, uh, yeah, we've used that forever. Yeah. Uh, but then you have all day Friday, all day Saturday, mm -hmm. come home late Sunday. Yeah. You go to work Monday a little tired. A little eh, bit. Whatever. Yeah, maybe not in the right mood. Yeah. Frame of mind. Whatever. But. All right, take scheduled breaks. Don't make the mistake of thinking you can increase productivity by staying connected to your work throughout the day. According to Tina Willis, a boutique firm law a boutique law firm in Orlando, Florida, taking a break is key to performing your best during the workday. If I'm not in court or attending a deposition or a hearing, she says, I take a mid-morning break each day to go for a run or exercise, which helps me stay on track mentally throughout the day. 
In other words, I work in the morning, then go for a run, then come back and get back to work. The run helps me stay focused when I'm working, which helps me make the most of that time. Hmm. I think it's a really important idea. Um, you know, I, I'll tell you that when I go to lunch at work, I hop in the car, and I bring my lunch every day. I hop in the car, I drive almost a half, maybe a half mile to this business park where there are these big shady trees that I park underneath, and I sit there and I listen to music and eat my lunch and think about stuff non-work related. Right. And I feel as if if I were to stay in the in the, the uh, office and go to the lunchroom, people are going to be tracking me down for stuff right. throughout the whole lunch. Lou, where did you put those? Hey, Lou, what's the question you had with the? How do we get them? I don't need that. I want right. to get away for an hour. So there you go. Take scheduled breaks. Well, then you have the other side of the coin, where people take scheduled work blocks of work. Mm -hmm. So their whole day is breaks. Oh, yeah. And then they work in little tiny increments. <laughs> yeah. I like that idea. <laughs> oh, this next one. Oh, this would, be, this would be really hard for some people to do. Ignore social media. Mm, I can mm, do it. Yeah. It, mm, I, some days I do better than others. I like this picture here. It shows the phone with delete Facebook question yeah. mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> It says social media can be a useful tool for work as well as a time leeching distraction, mm -hmm. which more often than not is the case. Uh, the key is going to social media instead of letting it come to you. Uh, to prevent myself from wasting time, I started deleting any time wasting apps from my phone, such as Facebook, turning off notifications for anything that wasn't essential to my work and life Ugh. by eliminating the perpetual bombardment of updates from social media networks, news, uh, news apps, shopping sites. She gets the most out of her technology without giving it to the chance uh, to overwhelm or distract her throughout the day. If you can't bear to remove your favorite apps, Willis recommends an app called Cold Turkey to set blocks and limit access. I don't like turkey. Cold? Yeah, I'm not, not so sure. Much. I like warm turkey. You know, Ron, okay, look, we tell our viewers that if you make a comment <clears throat> below our video, we try to get back to you very, very quickly. Right. Now, I don't know how your phone is set up, but as the administrator of our uh, YouTube channel, every message, every comment comes to my phone. Look what I have on my computer. I just got a reply on one of our yeah. uh, forest fans. Okay, so there you go. We so, both have that. Yeah. Um, is that social media? Seriously, is you? That's a great question. Is YouTube social media? Kind of is. Yeah. Well, especially when you use it the way we are. Yeah. It is more of a uh, more of a social media site than anything else. All right. Divide up your day. Learning how successful people think is a must for anyone who wants to understand time management. They tend to think in the long term, yet they often manage their time by the minute, not by hours, days, or weeks. Elon Musk, Elon Musk, say it as you wish, is no different. Between his SpaceX and Tesla companies, this visionary entrepreneur is known to put in 100-hour work weeks. 85 hours is a short week for him. That's a whole heap of time to manage, and Musk does it by carving up his time into five-minute slots. That's a lot of carving. Holy cow. Yeah. And it gets right back to the turkey we just talked about. <laughs> um, but he can uh, break up his day into tiny segments. He can focus on the task at hand and only the task at hand. Even meals are confined to five minutes max. Man, he must be shoveling that food in. Damn. These time management strategies allow Musk to avoid being overwhelmed by the long game and develop tunnel vision on the moment's most critical tasks. Huh. Uh, what do you think about that one? You know, it's somebody that only gives you five minutes at a time. Uh, you must have a lot on your plate. If you're breaking, uh, I mean, that's uh, every hour. You, you're working on a dozen things. Yeah. So that is multitasking, if I've ever heard it. Yeah, I, all right. Let's uh, let's wrap up with this yeah. one. Line. All right, this next one, get up early. 
Uh, holy cow. Boy, do we both. Yes. Uh, are you an early riser? If you answered yes, you may be on the right track because a plethora of successful people are known to wake up at the crack of dawn. Who's dawn? Uh, I'm not sure, but somebody's waking up at her crack. Uh, for example, Apple CEO Tim Cook revealed in an interview that he gets up a little bit before 4 a.m. every day. Wow, now that's... That's a little early even for me. Yeah, me too. Um, 4.45 for me. Yeah, I actually woke up at about 3.45 yesterday because I had to be at work at 5. And uh, we went to a dinner party last night. I bet you were feeling it. I was a little tired. You bet. Yep. Uh, although that hour is probably considered outrageous even to morning people, it's worth it. A Huffington Post article noted that many success successful people rise early to get a head start and prioritize their time. Getting started as the rest of the world snoozes gives early risers and precious uninterrupted time. Yeah. And you know, that's true. You don't have a lot of people texting you or anything else at 4 o'clock in the morning. Right. And, and you know, I, I violate one of these uh, using all of your time effectively, effectively with no downtime. I get up at 445. The first thing I do is put the coffee on. I go out to the garage I turn on a radio show that I listen to at 5, and I have KCRA News, that's our local channel 3 uh, here in Sacramento, and I watch the news uh, with no sound. Oh. Uh, I read the crawl going, a crawl going across the screen, and, um, and I, uh, I like the traffic girl. <laughs> that's really <laughs> oh, the only reason. I've seen her. Yeah. I know who you're talking uh -huh. about. Her yes. name is Melanie Hunter on that's Channel right. 3. Yep. In any case, um, I sit there for virtually an hour and a half before I get in the shower. Wow. Yeah, and I and I need that time. I need that time. Yep. Um, but don't. it's not to say that I'm not thinking. It's not to say that some days I don't do some editing at that time. Right. Uh, I just choose most days to have that time just to myself to get ready for the day. And so look, if you have some ideas, some time management hacks that you like to use, We'd love to hear them in the comments below, yeah. and we encourage you to do so. And you know what I'd really like to start seeing? I'd like to start seeing where you're watching our show in the country slash world. Yeah. So if you could say, uh, hey, Lou and Ronnie, I'm in uh, Sheboygna. Albuquerque. Albuquerque. You bet. Uh, and then get into your comment. That'd be great. Yep. Let us know where you're listening and viewing our show, okay? Uh, maybe even how. On what uh, format? TV, phone, uh, whatever, laptop? Okay, uh, our emails have been going across the, sh the screen throughout the show, so you've seen those. Uh, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel. It's very easy to do. If you haven't already done it, click that red button that says subscribe. And that, that thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up is important too. Yeah. And also uh, click the bell because that way you'll get notifications each time yep. a new show comes out. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.